Angela Soland and we're here at RGF Environmental Group with our Executive Director of Science and Technology, Dr. James Marston. Today we're going to talk about the latest of our SARS-CoV-2 testing. What unit did we use in this study? Well, thank you, Angela. Uh, you all know that we uh, did a considerable amount of testing with the Remy Halo for residential applications. Uh, with very excellent results in controlling the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19. Uh, the most recent studies uh, evaluated the package 14 unit for commercial applications, the package 14 with the PHI cell uh, included in the device. So that was the unit we used in this most recent round of studies. What was the testing protocol? We used the same protocol as we did for Remy Halo, which, which involved uh, three things. One, we used a, um, a large test chamber. It was eight by eight by uh, 20 feet, uh, so 1,280 cubic feet. We also uh, used the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus, not a surrogate or, or a virus that acts similarly, but the actual virus that causes COVID-19. Uh, and that virus was nebulized or aerosolized into the chamber. Uh, in addition, we ran a control. Uh, a control is a, uh, uh, part of the study where there's no treatment. We just measure the natural decay associated with the virus uh, over that same time period as the treatment. Why is it so important to use a control? Well, a con the control uh, measures natural decay, as I said. Natural decay may be up to one log of reduction, so or 90% reduction. So if you don't subtract that natural decay, you overestimate the effect of the treatment. And in fact, some competitors are doing just that. They don't subtract the control and uh, the reductions they report are, are overestimated because of that. What were the results? In, in this study, we, we measured um, at three points, at three distances from the cell, 36 inches, 72 inches, and 84 inches. In all cases, we observed a 99.9% .9 reduction, uh, which obviously is outstanding. Uh, it also uh, tells us that the system is uh, creating an equilibrium in that chamber because there was virtually no difference at the, uh, between the different distances that we measured. They were all exactly the same. So we have molecules of hydrogen peroxide in that chamber created by the uh, package unit and they reach an equilibrium and, and very quickly uh, act to inactivate uh, any virus uh, particles that present themselves inside that chamber. And I just want to say one more thing. This study on the package 14, it addresses all commercial applications for, uh, for RGF uh, IAQ technologies.